So check this out. I just got an email, and we're going to read live straight from Warren yes. Lotus regarding his whole uh, pigeon oh, situation. Shit pigeon oh, wait, he dog. sent you. He locked up again. What's your password? Yeah, what's his password? Well, you can, find, you can figure it five, out. Five, 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 five. Yeah. One, two, <laughs> three. Dude, is that? Hey, the only four, person who can hack my shit five. is StockX. Not you guys. Oh, wow. And there it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so... Of course, well, we're gonna get to our five five and all the other stuff later. But this is kind of breaking news, and this had, you just got this like when like an hour ago? Not even ten minutes. 90, okay, ten minutes ago. Okay. Yeah. Um, so we've been talking the last couple of weeks about the Warren Lotus situation with Nike and Nike suing the shit out of them and whatever. And I, t- I <laughs> this dude operates with the level of um, oh man, the level of. A first grader. Self awareness that he lacks. Uh, I got a word I wish I could move you. like that. Arrogance? Is that the word? Yeah, it's almost for? arrogance. Yeah, but it's know. like he hey, lives in a different. Tap it so it doesn't lock out. Oh, too late. Uh, he lives in like an alternate. Okay. He lives in an alternate reality. I usually like to tap it before it locks out, too. So I was just like. Slam? Dunk. Oh my God. <laughs> um. Yeah, he lives in an alternate reality, though. So, I, I but anyways, know. his first pair shipped out. We already got them. The Heinekens, they shipped out. They were bad quality. People are pissed. Okay. Stussies are still in question. Are these relatively recent or what? Yeah, but the okay. Stussies are still in question. We don't know. But this email is in regard to the so Pigeon the ones, pigeons, which okay. Nike will not allow him to ship. And he's basically saying you could have my new trash shoe that's worse than anything or a refund. Design is not bad. Execution is where it lacks. But let's read this and then, okay, and yeah. then describe so this picture, what's this, going on. This is the email that Dunst got. Uh, it says, Dear Warren Lotus customer. That's you. As you oh, may have heard. I was going to say, Dear Dunks. I'm one of his best customers at this point. I'm saying. As you may have heard, Nike has challenged the Warren Lotus signature sneaker. It's not a signature sneaker if you stole it from someone. Oh. <laughs> Not even like into, we're not even fully into the first sentence. I'm I was, was going to say, I knew you wouldn't make it in. Yeah, it's like the Warren Lotus signature sneaker. Are you kidding me right now? Anyway. Nike is crushing small businesses right now. Good. No, I'm playing. Uh, with wow. the pending lawsuit. <laughs> with the pending. Only, I just want him to get Warren Lotus now because this dude is just, I, I just need him taking down a peg. Uh, anyway, Nike has challenged the Warren Lotus signature sneaker with the pending lawsuit with claims claims that we are infringing a part of the trademarks. You are literally doing that. What are you Allegations. Talking? It hasn't been proven. Oh, my God, my head hurts. Love doesn't fit. Doesn't my fit. head hurts so bad right now. We're not even two I mean, sentences in. He's innocent until proven guilty. Exactly. Allegations. Oh, my God. Oh my hey, God. Watch Adidas hire him. Oh, yeah, I know. I, I'm calling it now. Like, that would be funny. Uh, oh my god, yeah, okay. Let's do it. With claims that we are infringing upon their trademarks, you sons of bitches. We intended for these sneakers, which were not a collaboration with Nike, to pay homage to a streetwear classic and its impact on our world. We never intended to cause confusion and do not believe we did. No. (sighs) You literally remade mine, you made some, you you literally vanilla iced. The he, pigeon dunks. He you changed it, one little part. He with, put an eyeball. On, yes, on the and now it's so different. Jason and got a blessing. Y- yeah, from uh, from Jeff. From Jeff Stable. Stable. I hope it was worth it, Jeff. By the way, he still hasn't put anything out about it yet. I wouldn't. I, yeah, hell no. no, I wouldn't. Yeah. I stay quiet as hell. Uh, well, you either got to apologize immediately with that one, or shut the hell up and keep it moving. Yeah, I guess you know about that. What happened? I, with yes. <laughs> he showed up to uh, Beaverton like. Uh, Slam. Down. Like Dr. Strange showed the Kamataj. Uh, what's that place? Kamataj. Kamataj. You know, he just sat there, like, in front of the door the whole time until they let him in. I could just see him sitting in front of uh, Mark Parker's office until he don't forgives ever, him. Don't ever try and give Warren Lotus that much credit to compare him to Dr. Stephen Strange. Mm, I don't know. They live in a different reality than we do. Uh, okay. We never intended to cause confusion. Do not believe we did. Pivoting in moments like these. Often define a brand. We tried to reach an early resolution with Nike and basically comply with everything the opposing party wanted. <laughs> but we believe they're making unnecessary demands in order to publicly shame us and intimidate other small b- businesses from exercising the cl- creative freedom. There was nothing what creative what you did. What are you talking about? He cre- he's a creator. Yeah, he is. Oh, God. 
He you cre- didn't do anything. Cre- oh my he, god! Like he no. creatively recreated you know the do? swoosh. You know what I'm gonna do? I swear to God, I'm a uh, world star. I'm gonna just. You know what? I'm gonna that come still out. Exists? I'm gonna come out. About to. <laughs> I'm gonna come out with the taxi twelves and a little tag where it says Jumpman. It's just gonna say Caesar. Is this? Is this? Like, I knew is this it. New? I knew it. Is this what this is? I yes. knew it. Is this an exclusive? This yes. is it. I knew the it. C's I'm just gonna do that. And I'm gonna brand? act like it's the totally different shoe. Same I, colorway. Same I, color blocking. I knew it. Same design. I knew it was minus gonna get a, that one so little exclusive. feature. Oh my god! And it's only gonna be available in big sizes. Oh my god! Woo, I knew I could. Good day to come. Uh, it locked up again. <laughs> What's your password? F all you people who wear a size 13 and below. It is infuriating that this dude. Is sitting up here acting like Nike has no no reason to be upset. He's creative. All this, oh god, whatever. Whether you like or dislike the shoes in question, we believe the outcome of this situation will affect all artists and small brands. And these, Jesus, with and this resellers. suit, yes, with this suit, we believe they are trying to create a legal template to instantly shut down other brands from using color. Functional and run of the mill design elements. Look at it closely. Okay, first of all, there. What, what does he say? With this, we're trying to create a legal template. Yeah, that's what lawsuits are made for. That's what trademarks are made for. That's what copyrights are made for. Those are all legal templates to protect somebody's creative and intellectual properties. Hearsay. Hearsay. We posted it on the Instagram. Let's say no. Here. <laughs> Oh my god, my head about to explode. I'm surprised, like, I'm surprised you five having, minutes into the show. I'm surprised you haven't frisbee dunks his phone yet. I'm about to. I'm about to <laughs> throw it out this window. For the love of sneakers. <laughs> but but all this aside and the fact that he handles the email wrong and then he tries to defend himself, the ultimatum is if you don't want a refund, we'll give you this brand new shoe I designed. Yeah, like this dude, I'm telling you, he is the Kwame Kilpatrick. Now what does that look like? It's not bad. I I think my first thought is it's trash, but as Francis says, it does at least focus on more unique features related to his brand, I guess. The only, I guess, caveat to all of it is that I like how the much, colorway, but not the style. How much, was, how much were the, the fucking shoes? I got a check, but I want to say 250 ish That replacement shoe is not, too, is not a $250 shoe. I, I, we didn't get that far. I want the refund. <laughs> <laughs> Most definitely. <laughs> That might be uh, the smartest thing you ever said on the show. Okay, so it, it's continuing <laughs> on with this email. Our answer to this is the Warren Lotus Reaper, a ground-up shoe silhouette that was intended to release on Black Friday. But due to unforeseen circumstances, who did not see this? Con- okay. Jeff Staple, Warren Lotus? We, apparent, yeah, the two people in America. I was telling people, never watched I was telling Order. people buy this and sell the copyright infringement pack, you know, in case I make it out and, you know, once they're pulled, that, the price would go up. But we didn't even make it that far. I can tell you right now, if you, if you want to, Dunks, if you want to, if you want to really make the money right now, buy a bunch of fake graphics cards. You know, buy a bunch of fake pigeons. But I can't sell fakes. That's morally against it's my code. The- Gino, <laughs> the way you look at resellers is how I look at fakes. Gino, Gino, but you it's wanna, okay sorry. to buy them. I'm Gino, sorry. yeah, right. Sorry. You, you want to buy a bunch of fake pigeons? Rip the swish off and put a, a fucking. I can. Sure. I can get a tailor Jason to make. Yeah, I can get, no, you can get a cobbler, but at go. that point, it's like you're tricking the buyer. Isn't that what he was doing to begin with? Well, I mean, <laughs> yes. You, no, you know they're not. A, you know they're not the pigeon dunk. You they're wait, a ripoff, wait, wait, wait. but you know you they're know. Not. Yeah, I was going to say exactly. You know, we know. But you get mom and dad that see their son on StockX looking at the pigeon dunk, and they see that for sale and say, oh, this looks just like it. You, I'm going to get little Johnny you this are, shoe. You are going way too far. You get the fucking asshole YouTuber, shoe tuber that's got to get content up. I have the, the fucking infringement pack. So yeah. that dickhead for fucking 2000 a pop. Yeah. I wasn't trying now, we to just go. had this conversation last we week. We were talking about YouTuber. eBay. We were talking about eBay authenticating shoes. And we were, oh, you they guys just were announced. So it was supposed to be free. They just announced, well, there will be a fee coming in the new well, future. Yeah, no shit. Of course. They're not going to authenticate your shit for free. I wouldn't. No. Uh, but no. We were just talking about last week, though, eBay authenticating I shoes. I bet you wouldn't. Uh But no, some of them authenticating shoes and whatnot. And we were talking about there are people out there who don't know any better. They see something. Well, like a fake, I agree they don't know better. But I feel like with with the Warren Lotus, no one 
I was under the impression no one's actually buying it, thinking it really is the twenty thousand. I would agree. Yeah. There are probably a, a large segment of people, but I'm saying like uh, differently to the is a Eric Coy, Kai, whatever. Like yeah. his shit, you know, like you can look at it. There's a Thunderbolt. Okay. Yeah. Obviously, there's different s- colors. Something, yeah, different colors. Something different than uh, obvious Jordan One. Or like this those, is like literally those dicks that you posted. Huh? Oh, the, like yeah, those, yeah. The Air Johnsons that 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 was disturbing. Yes. Um, this shoe. I mean, it, it has everything, and then he incorporates with a Jason mask on there or something. Some Which stupid. it made sense for the Jason colorway. Yeah, but then but he kept the, reusing uh, it uh, on the Heinekens, the Stussies, the Pigeons, dude, and it you it made no sense. On. I will say this though, Remember, you know that video that was online of uh, someone just scrolling through StockX with the that was that was Sock Jake. He's my homie who actually just started a sneaker podcast. I tagged you in. Oh yeah, I saw that. So saw he's that. actually selling legit socks, and uh, you guys should go check them out. They're dope. <laughs> when he <Shameless> did that, <laughs> when he did that, and he scrolled by the what the dunk with the Warren Lotus, I was like, I'd probably buy that. Let's see. If they put on a Paris dunk, I'd be a yo. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so anyway, uh, you bought those. What do you mean? The shoe was intended to release on Black Friday, but due to unforeseen <laughs> circumstances, we are releasing it to you first. This is a unique and exclusive Warren Lotus sneaker, not made in partnership with Nike or any other footwear company. Uh, the shoe will replace the Broccolini. That was just something he used. His sneakers. He he just used that name to throw bots off. But then it was a which made no sense because. This is just him feeding a shit saying, oh, we don't want bots. You can't use keywords. We're going to use some crazy name. But then it was just an open forum for 15 minutes, a pre-order. You know what I mean? It wasn't limited. Oh, I see. So. Uh, which will never be delivered. You will be receiving a commemorative. Oh, this dude is a dick. You will be receiving a commemorative lawsuit shirt, pencil, and bumper sticker in addition to your Reapers. You get if I'm Nike, I'm sending a hit squad. Like, yo, you ain't learned your lesson, bro. This lawsuit ain't enough. We got to break them knees. Like, <laughs> we're breaking the legs. You're not walking for two weeks, bro. That, that is ridiculous. You're not cashing in any of the Reapers? Not one. If I mean, do you want one? I might. Let me think about it. Uh, if you're happy All with my orders are size 11 for the most part. I might want one. Yeah. If you're happy with... Like, some people just need a good ass whooping. The Warren Lotus needs a good ass whooping. Like, seriously. Like, I'm... I'm I think a lot of Some the world's people, problems... Being humbled is good sometimes. Oh, yeah. I think most of the world's problems comes from a lack of just good ass whoopings being handed out when people were young enough to, you know, catch those lessons. And then they become douchebags and they get older, you know, because they haven't dealt with the consequences or repercussions of their actions or words. Uh, and Warren Lotus is definitely one of those people. Uh, if you're happy with the substitution, do nothing. You will receive the same size you ordered initially. If you like a refund... Please email support at warrenlotus.com. I guarantee you yeah, he's after the inundated show. with the emails. Right oh, now. after the show, I got to send out a whole bunch. <laughs> <laughs> you're just getting bombarded with emails right when now. When were they supposed to deliver? Like uh, March or something? That's the thing. He never even says. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you were never getting that shit to begin with. Thank you for being a loyal customer, and we are grateful for your unconditional support, Warren Lotus. Oh, shut up, Warren. He knew he Thank was getting himself into some shit. Oh, whatever, bro. I, I, I almost want you to get the shoe just so you can get the uh, lawsuit T-shirt. He might get the shoe because I might want it. I mean, at least Big Baller Brand actually sent shit out eventually. Eventually. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, you might want to add that part in there.